Margaret MacDonald's Revelation It was first the awful state of the land that was pressed upon me. I saw the blindness and infatuation of the people to be very great. I felt the cry of liberty just to be the hiss of the serpent, to drown them in perdition. It was just, no God. I repeated the words, now there is distress of nations, with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear. Now look out for the sign of the Son of Man. Here I was made to stop and cry out. Oh, it is not known what the sign of the Son of Man is. The people of God think they are waiting, but they know not what it is. I felt this needed to be revealed, and that there was great darkness and error about it. But suddenly, what it was burst upon me with a glorious light, I saw it was just the Lord himself, descending from heaven with a shout, just the glorified man, even Jesus, but that all must, as Stephen was, be filled with the Holy Ghost, that they might look up and see the brightness of the Father's glory. I saw the error to be, that men think that it will be something seen by the natural eye, but tis spiritual discernment that is needed, the eye of God in his people. Many passages were revealed, in a light in which I had not before seen them. I repeated, Now is the kingdom of heaven like unto ten virgins, who went forth to meet the bridegroom, five wise and five foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps, but took no oil with them, but they that were wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. This was the oil the wise virgins took in their vessels. This is the light to be kept burning, the light of God, that we may discern that which cometh not with observation to the natural eye. Only those who have the light of God within them will see the sign of his appearance. No need to follow them who say, See here, or see there, for his day shall be as the lightning to those in whom the live in Christ is. Tis Christ in us that will lift us up. He is the light. Tis only those that are alive in him that will be caught up to meet him in the air.